Mr. Davies' Daily Dose of Science. If this is your first time learning with us, welcome. If you've been learning a little more every day, welcome back. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your Daily Dose of Science. This is Mr. Davies, and today is Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. Hope you're all doing well and you're feeling healthy. For today in science, we're going to be looking at the parts of the atom. Today's focus will be the nucleus. I'm hoping that you'll take a look at an orbital activity. And also, if you could join us for a short Zoom session today at 1 o'clock, that would be awesome. <clears throat> I do want to point out a couple things in Canvas, uh, but first, Let's take a look at a clip from the video you should have seen yesterday. A little bit of Bill Nye talking about the parts of an atom. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Take a look at this. It's our proper proportion giant atom model of science. Now, this part isn't very giant. That's because it's just the nucleus, the middle of an atom. Now, in here are two kinds of particles protons and neutrons. No one knows what they would really look like. The protons have a positive electrical charge, like a spark. And the neutrons have no charge. They're neutral. They just hang out in the nucleus. Now, buzzing around the outside of the nucleus are very small particles called electrons. Maybe you've heard of them. In fact, the flow of electrons from one atom to another is called electricity. If this vibrating buzzing ball is the nucleus of an atom, how far away do you think the electron would be? Well, as far as you could jump? No. As far as you could throw a ball? Uh-uh. As far as you could run? Well, yeah. Take a look. You can see it from here. The electron would be here. 500 meters, five soccer fields from the nucleus. So. Everything that's made of atoms, everything that you can touch and feel, is mostly empty space. Empty space. Empty space. Empty space! Now, the electron weighs, oh, a 10,000th of those particles in the middle. And it's going around so fast that it's only here now and then. It's here, and then here, and then, and then oh, I gotta go. Okay, so always a good refresher video and certainly enjoyable. As we take a look at Canvas, some of the areas in Canvas that are certainly important at this point, we are currently working in the Matter and its Interactions module. I'm hoping that you already got to see the introduction video of Bill Nye and the history of chemistry yesterday. Some of the activities and the reader moving forward will be in the Matter and Its Interactions student packet, which is this PDF document right here. Um, you do not need to print the entire document, my goodness. I think there are maybe two activities that we'll do, so if you want to print those pages, you can, or you can do a screen capture and do it digitally as well. So some of the reader that I'll look at today is definitely in here. Um, also, if you join us for the Zoom session today at 1 o'clock, the PowerPoint is right here. As far as how to get to the Zoom session, um, I put a link in your email, and there's a link on the web page. So certainly feel free to use that. So let's take a look at the reader today. In the reader, um, just suggesting that you read the first two pages. So the first page is all about the structure of an atom and the particles within the atom. There's basically three parts. Second page is about finding data on the elements, the atomic number, the symbol and the chemical name, and finally the average atomic mass. They are going to point out 
how the square for each element on the periodic table is arranged. So do take a look at that example for iron at the bottom of the page. As you finish with the reading, I would encourage you to come back to Canvas and view this great video by Hank Green. Um, he can explain things a lot better than I can. And you can pause it as you need to and go back. So that's the video for today on the nucleus. After you finish the video on the nucleus, I would encourage you to come back to your packet and just two pages deeper that there's instructions on this page for an orbital activity. And the activity itself is on this page. The idea is simply to be able to get some information from the periodic table square and interpret that to get some more information about an atom for each element. So again, please use Canvas to um, access the reader, read those first two pages. View the video on the nucleus by Hank Green and take a look at the orbital activity. If you do have a chance, please plan to join us at one o'clock this afternoon for an active Zoom session. And if you're there, I'm hoping to go over the PowerPoint with you while we're in there. Um, hopefully we'll have some fun too while we're there. But okay. Oh, just a few tips about when you come into the Zoom session. First off, uh, I'm going to plan to start the session probably about five minutes ahead of time, so 12.55. I won't turn on my end until at least 1 o'clock, until we all get in and get settled. I will need to mute everyone at some point. When you come in, you can certainly join with video and audio if you have that capability on your device. You can use a phone, a laptop, a tablet or a, a PC. Make a plan for where you're going to sit and check your background. For me, it's pretty easy because I use my home office, but for you, you might want to pay attention to what's behind you. Make sure no one's going to walk behind you unknowingly, and certainly make sure you're dressed appropriately if you have the camera turned on. We'll go over other pieces of etiquette once we're in there. At some point, I will ask everyone to mute and perhaps turn off their video so that we can have a clean stream. But okay, I am excited to see everybody and I hope that everyone can make it. If it does work out, let everybody else know. I'm sure you're connected on social media somewhere, somehow. So, see you in there. Hope everybody can make it. As always, stay healthy, stay safe, wash your hands, stay away from each other, listen to the adults around you. We're all in this together and we'll get through it together. Until next time, this is Mr. Davies. Have a great day and keep on learning. See you at one o'clock for the Zoom session. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you think there is more you can learn, then click subscribe or consider coming back again tomorrow. The information, likenesses, and opinions in this video are the intellectual property of Mr. Mike Davies. While Mr. Davies does refer to other works owned by others, those resources are either parts of a public school district curriculum or they are readily available through open forums on the internet. Mr. Davies does offer his thanks and appreciation to any entity he has chosen to refer to or gather sound bites or clips from to emphasize his lessons. Mr. Davies is currently a professional member of the teaching staff for Central Dolphin School District in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and is making, producing, and publishing these videos for the benefit of his students and other students during the current lockdown crisis. 
Mr. Davies does not make claim to all of the ideas and resources referenced in his videos. However, he does claim responsibility and rights to his likeness, opinions, and the academic content of these videos. He does not grant permission for any entity to copy or duplicate any portion of this video or any of his videos for private or personal gain.